and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Acolyte Ziggs. So that's what we're, we're going to go ahead and call this one. It's a Ruinous Acolyte deck. This is going to be my first time playing a Ruinous Acolyte deck. At least I'm pretty sure it is. Two mana, two one fearsome. That if you play it and if you destroy an allied landmark when you play it, you get to grant all of your Ruinous Acolytes everywhere, plus one, plus one, including itself. So now it turns into a three two fearsome for two mana. And that's looking a little bit better. Then you're talking about like Mistrate size. Uh, but then if you can just, you know, play another one, then they're starting to get real big. And so that's going to be an aggressive card, right? Because it's going to be fearsome and everything. So we wanted to make an aggressive deck with the Ruinous Acolytes. Um, so you can see that we have uh, Bandle City for our other region, pretty low to the ground, um, other good attackers, Bomber Twins, Rock Hopper, um, Inventive Chemist. And then, like, I wanted these Hexplosive Minefields in there because, like, this is a really good landmark for you to, like, you can, you know, play this, stun it, stun a blocker. And then play your Acolyte, blow it up, grow them, and then stun another blocker and like get good attacks in, that kind of stuff. So uh, for our champions, you know, go with Ziggs because Ziggs is also, you know, it cares about destroying the landmarks and it's also just a really good aggressive champion. And, and whenever you have a leveled up Ziggs, you're doing Nexus damage for whenever you're destroying uh, landmarks. So good champion to pair there. But then for the second champion, there's a lot of options, whether, you know, we're thinking about probably like Action, um, Poppy, Xerath, and Talia probably all like pretty good here we ended up going with poppy because we're going to be playing all those other units and poppy's just kind of ridiculously good right and it just fits the the curve really well here in the four mana slot uh, i can grow the zigs it can grow some acolytes um you know it's just such a good card and so uh, we decided to go with poppy uh, as our other champion but like i said you could play it with zara could play it with talia if you want to play those um herald of the magus of course would would really pair well with the talia but Herald of Magus pairs well with Poppy also, so it can grow Poppy to make sure that you're still growing like your Acolytes if you've played a couple Acolytes. And then still have two Arsenals at the top end, so in case the opponent stabilizes or, you know, like we're not aggressive enough or anything like that, we still have a couple Arsenals uh, that we don't have like tons and tons of landmarks that we're destroying here, but it's still just, you know, such a ridiculous card that even if it gets like, you know, five keywords, it should still uh, probably finish out the game most likely. So that's going to be our deck. It's going to be Acolyte Ziggs. Uh, we're just playing in normal. We're calling a meme tier deck with it being a ruinous acolyte deck. Okay, so we have Viego Thresh. Alright, so I like the endless devouts. They're always good to start off with. Of course, we'll always send the arsenal back. Uh, just, you know, Poppy, do we keep Poppy? And probably, right? Like Poppy's just such a good card. So like maybe we're supposed to send one endless devout back, so I'm you know, probably going like Endless Vout on three, Poppy on four, so like we're not playing the other one for a minute. Um. Hmm. Take the high ground. Do I just play the two one? Ugh. You know, so I can just, you know, just play like a regular two one. I don't get to destroy a landmark or anything, so, you know, we don't have a landmark in play. Keep this thing from surviving is would be the thinking. No, no, we'll just save it. Cause I want that two one after you know one. I want to be able to destroy landmarks with it. Oh, thanks, chemist. Would love to have you before. Um, but you know, it'd be nice to be able to destroy these sarcophagus. Also. Okay, so we know they have a card that's in their hand that's more expensive than that. All right, team, adventure time. Hopefully not Viego right here on round four. Okay. We can live with that. I see you there. Okay. So it could be Hydrovine right now. Which I can't do too much about. Yep. Good hand opponent. Another poppy is interesting. I 
I want to unleash energy here so I get to buff up the Restore Devout so they don't just get to have their 3-2 trade with my Restore Devout. Um, but, I mean, I guess at that point, you know, then they just trade with the 4-3 anyway. I'll just, get, I'll just go normal attacks. You cannot escape. You cannot win. Okay, took a lot of damage. Absolutely it is. Okay, so now now we're doing kind of good, like where they got to, you know, replay that Hydrovine, you know, recast that thing. Um, let's see. I think we just pass. Yeah. Please don't have a vile feast. Just let us attack, let us attack. No, they had a vile feast. Rude. Only had three landmarks get destroyed this game so far. I guess I'm going stun, stun, stun. Stun, stun. Stun. Still, like, not even very much. <laughs> yeah, this game plan just isn't. Hmm. Isn't gonna work. They block the 3-1, that's five things dying now for Thresh. They go down to two. If we draw like a I don't know, like a Ziggs, but then like how do we get how do we destroy another landmark? Ziggs can do two whenever a landmark gets destroyed. Right now we have four keywords for the arsenal. I guess that's going to be game. All right, close game. I had a good hand. Good hand. Round five, Hydrovine is always hard to beat. Especially when they stunned my poppy the round before. I think I really have a choice but to do that. Arsenal been looking too expensive. Maybe Arsenal should just be the Bandle City card that draws two, three mana draw two. Maybe that's supposed to be our top end card, not the Arsenal, but you never know. We could get. Alright, so we need like Elusive and Spell Shield. Uh. Oh man. Uh. Like, technically, Ziggs can attack and deal two to them. But it's super easy to stop, right, with, like, anything. You know, they just have to have a, a Concussive Palm or a, even a Vile Feast. All right, yeah, it's too easy to stop. All right, let's go with the Arsenal. Okay. It's Elusive. Okay. So we have Spell Shield and Elusive. So there we go. Now they they have to have like a vile feast plus like a way to bounce it, which I guess they do because they have everything. 
All right. My hand was too slow. I should not have kept two of the three threes. So I should have kept the one of the three mana three threes with the poppy, and took the others back. Yeah, one mana too expensive for the win, right? Yep. If we had one more mana, um, you know, we would have won, right? They they spend both of those cards on that, then we play Ziggs right after. Like we were that close to winning. So now do we keep two Ziggs? Like that's gone. It looks like a control deck like where they're probably going to kill the first Ziggs. Do we want to keep a second Ziggs? I guess we send it back. That's an egg. Oh, that card's great against Rockhopper. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to play Rockhopper into Ziggs, into Poppy. We're just going to go with the curve. And so basically I'm thinking, okay, we'll take Preservarium for like after that, because like after that then we'll probably want to be able to, um, you know, draw some cards and everything like that. All right, go get him, Poppy. How does everybody have, like, <laughs> the best thing they can have? Man, that's rude. So just going to attack here. I don't really want to trade 2-2 two, two for 3-1 whenever there's a Callista in play. Yeah, they're just, they're just going to let this die, but... At least we get another point of damage in. We have to do that kind of stuff. And that despair. And then Thresh? Wow. And we had a good 1, 2, 3, 4, but they've had a better 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because they've had Champion on 3, Champion on 5 with that removal spell on 4, and we don't... We had Champion on 3 and 4, but we don't have a removal spell. Wow. Looking bad, looking bad. What do you do, Hexplosive Minefield? I'm not sure. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. So I didn't play this chemist, I was, I was keeping like the slot open here for like this minefield. Now we drew this bouncing bomb. I don't know. I don't really have like a great idea of like what to do. Because we need to attack, but the attack really helps out their Callista and their Thresh. Alright, so Callista levels up. Thresh is about to level up. But at least I'm getting rid of all their other blockers. So if they want to block, they got to block with Callista. Or Thresh. So if Callista and Poppy trade, it levels up Thresh that puts in another Callista. I don't know if Thresh putting in a Callista would then have the Callista. Okay, they're gonna trade there instead of trading with Poppy. I don't know if Callista also just puts in something. We got some new cards. 
Please play something else. Come on. Go ahead, play Clista. No, play play something. Man. Really want them to play something that could stun. Oh. We got their champ. How about that? Stands beneath me and wins behind me. I want to play this Herald of the Magus. Sure is dark, eh? We make this place ready. So eight mana next round. A ruinous acolyte's like my best draw, to be honest. Yeah, I think ruinous acolyte's like my best draw next round because we can go like stun, stun, ruinous acolyte, kill something, stun, and then also poppy. That's eight mana. Ruinous acolyte being two. Ouch. My opinion on Kindred? Kindred's Kindred's a really good champion. Kindred would be amazing if it had five health instead of four. But you know, four four quick attacks, great body. Slays a bunch of stuff. It's unfortunate they also have man. Sorry, it's also un unfortunate there's also Viego that's like just the same mana cost in the same region that's also great, like the and and Thresh, you know, like they just print. It's there's a lot of competition, and that's that's holding Kindred and Thresh and Viego. That's holding like all of them back because they all compete against each other. Alright, we got the Overwhelm here. I mean, I guess technically it's possible that I should even be attacking here, because all, all we're doing is just like killing these little things. Um, actually, because then, yeah, because then they get to Mark. Okay, maybe that attack's just not worth it, but... Um, with these things. But they have to... Yeah, we at least get to kill that thing. Yeah, because then they get to Mark. I, I guess I shouldn't... I just shouldn't attack with these things at all. Um... But the poppy with the overwhelm puts him down to three, and then I'm, you know, like this damage is going to be like a little bit more. What is this? Ah, fearless. Oh man! All right, I, I really should not. This, uh, I just basically cost myself this game maybe by attacking with these. If I just don't attack with these. It's like, they, that thing's ephemeral, there's, there's no reason to do that. And so there's really no reason to play like those hex, the Hexplosive Minefields, honestly, because then we're just basically just going to be Poppy challenging that thing. So I kind of wasted those Hexplosive Minefields also. Okay, the game's trying to save us. Gave us Ziggs, the best card to draw. But they have... Is that all their champions, though? One, two, three, four, five... No, I guess there's one more champion in their deck. Should not have made that attack. Oh, right. They got this back from Rekindler, so it wasn't actually a champion card. Really good thing they attacked with this one one, otherwise they would have had uh, attacked with another one of those, but so that puts me down to one, that puts me down to zero. So we block here, go to one. I hope we survive. Hope, hope no pokey sticks or anything. Could have just had two more blockers if I just didn't make that attack last round. I could have had two more blockers and you know that'll still be been at like eleven.
How? I guess I should have played this last round. <laughs> uh, really punish for holding on to Ziggs. That's the only card that punished me for holding on to Ziggs. Um, yeah. Really punished. The reason why I held on to Ziggs is because we have all, all like these ways to destroy landmarks where I wanted to... Um, I didn't want to like play Ziggs last round and then they killed Ziggs last round. I wanted to you know, like try to be able to play it this round and then destroy a landmark and that kind of stuff, but... This is the only card that Big and small, I got punished one. me. Wow, what are they doing? Glimpse Beyond would have just won them this game. You know how like things like just don't quite line up, but come really close to lining up, but just don't quite. That, that was this game. Every sharpens our resolve. Yeah, like, Ziggs wasn't gonna survive the slay or anything like that. Yep. I win that game if I just don't make that attack. That attack and how I use the Hexplosive Minefields. Both those those decisions. That that round, I just completely messed that game up. I don't believe Deep Rock Galactic is on PS5. I don't believe it is right now. I think because somebody asked that in on like the YouTube comments last week. I think it said that it was like graded for PS4 and PS5, but I don't think it's been released. I'm not exactly sure what like graded means either. All right, open attacking before Avalanche or Braum. Or Braum deck, right? No, oh, there's Zoe. We'll just save spell mana. No surprise there. Thanks, Broccoli Sniper says, yeah, nice to see you play other games you enjoy. Thank you. Yeah, I really enjoy playing it. We're gonna have a lot of fun later on with that. So it could just, yeah, like, just open attack is just, like, three damage, and they could even block if they want, but it's, like, just three damage isn't very nut very much. Cool. I am actually very happy about that, because now that gives me a landmark to destroy. Um. Yeah, if they have, because they could have another avalanche, but, you know, Destroying this levels up the Ziggs, and then we also get the 5-3. So we have two 3 health units in, in play now with the Ziggs and the 5-3. The I, I don't... Yeah, Kindred was a 7-7, seven, seven, so yeah, I could have pulled Kindred with the 8-6. You know, it would have killed the 8-6, but it would have dealt the, the damage with the impact. So yeah, absolutely could have done that. I'm not here saying that I made the best decisions last game. Absolutely that... You know, I didn't I didn't play around Blackspear, I guess. No, it, the Arsenal would have died, right? Or, or did the Arsenal have quick attack? No, I thought the Arsenal had like regen. I think they would have just traded. Arsenal was gonna die anyway to the kindred, so you know, might as well. Alright, looks like we got the same kind of matchup, but that time we had a good, good aggressive hand. We're gonna keep. So we're gonna draw one drop. Let's draw one drop here. One drop. Oh, so close. Because you know, if we draw like the like the one mana two one in particular, then this hand's like kind of perfect, right? Because then we get to act light on three. Oh, even even you, I would have just I would have just thrown you down on. Well, maybe maybe turning act light into a three two is not worth that much. All right. So if they are a Targon's peak deck, which is possible, then 
Um, you know, we have the naturalist for that. We have the poppy for, you know, attacking and everything. This. This faces of the old ones, though. You know, this has been about four games in a row playing against this deck where they have round two faces of the old ones. And the faces of the old ones just all keeps looking fantastic. Today's the day I find that hero. The trolls are going to war! Go to war! Where are you going? Smash, smash! Could be a good unleashed energy draw. gonna do this so we'll stun their other blocker now we got a lot of attackers poppy doesn't grow the 5-4 but grows everything else well better than that so they block five take eight plus eight 16 wow 16 is a lot Now they have Targon's Peak, and I can't destroy the Targon's Peak. So how do we get the other 40 damage across? <laughs> oh, that's reasonable. Just hopefully not Aurelian Soul, of course. I said it's just not Aurelian Soul because, you know, we can't stun Aurelian Soul. Yeah, they have all these other things that we could stun. <laughs> oh, it still stuns. Never mind. All right, we still good. <sighs> Don't know what else they got spells wise. Our plan is open attack, stun, unleash energy. If I would have just covered that up, you know, we could have put like another 3-2 that would have also been, you know, like a lethal attacker, but I could have played like the Ancient Preparations first and predicted. And then like, we could have like predict, draw, put a 3-1 there, still open attack. They still, they have just one more blocker, but I would have had another four power attacker. Wow, we got there. How about that? They didn't have any, you know, burst spells. They didn't have any star shaping, sea healer nexus or guiding touch or anything like that. Wow, no hush, no frostbite. We got some scouts. Because that was, you know, round three, three, five regen on round three as a blocker. That's not easy to beat. You're gone. I guess I keep the others. I guess we keep Minefield slowing them down because we need a landmark to destroy for Ride of the Arcane. Because I want Ride of the Arcane to kill Misfortune. Unfortunately, that unleashed energy that I sent back that I don't really want, we did draw two of them. Not great. Yeah, that was a nail biter. Nice to meet you. I'm Isla. All right, I guess we save for life. I suppose. Me. I just had you before, inventive chemist. Looking for trouble. It found me. One for you, and one for you!
Alright, so they do have the misfortune. Okay, getting Misfortune out of here makes their deck much worse. So that's good for us. Let's draw a card. Get a couple countdowns started. One out of four for Ziggs. Poppy! Alright, I'm in there. It's adventure time. I don't think it's worth the stun when they could block with the two power either way. So we got a big zigs. Bigger zigs. Five. Alright, so we take five. Considering, you know, considering doing this plus four, plus two, and then blocking, but no, let's not do that. It's a five, seven now. Now we'll just go ahead and explosive minefield and stun this other thing. Hmm. Alright, pass save spell mana. Doing that so we get the Hexplos of my field in this round. We need one more landmark though, which we don't have for like a this other ruinous acolyte. I could just make I guess we could just make this obelisk of power with this. But I don't love obelisk of power. Kind of greedy having the one three attack. Like why not the the two four that's stunned? Okay. Um. All right. It's my time. We're at seven. Which wasn't the strongest ally, which was like the weakest ally. So I want to, I don't want to destroy a mana gem because I want to be able to play the arsenal next round. But of course they get to just block Ziggs. All right, if we're get, if we're growing the weakest ally there, the game's over. Yeah, that's plus four on that thing. I guess no, because it would have been plus four. Yeah, yeah, it would have been. Risen altar. Alright, life steal. You want a big boom? You call this guy an extra big bomb. No life steal. Set the course. And no like overwhelm to get damage in, but uh, This is our way. They do four damage to me. <laughs> they they just don't they don't know how to not attack. <laughs> I 
Yeah, you don't need to be attacking here. That's not a good attack. So, you know, they just did that the other way around, because now I only take three damage instead of taking four. If they just do that the other way around, I take... You know, attack with, with the navigator first, I take two, and then the boat, I take another two. But I only took three there, because of the order they did. I don't, I don't really know what they can have to stop this. Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay. So I ended up with a three and two. Don't worry. I brought my own oh, never mind. Sorry. It's it's two damage whenever Siren attacks, not if Siren's in play. Gotcha. The Siren has to be attacking. All right. So finished up there with a three and two with Acolyte Ziggs. Some uh, weird games there and Nail Biter in game number four. Um, but to be honest, I kind of think that the deck underperformed, even though we still went three and two. I think some of those uh, first couple of losses were not the best luck, but I think that there's you know a lot of good um, power in the deck, and um, you know like that second loss, I think that I could have made better decisions. You know, I, I you know I kind of threw that game away with the attack and everything, but it's a good learning moment. Um, but you know, is that close to being a four and one if I don't make that attack? I think. I was very happy with the list. I think the one card I could see, I could see even having just more ancient preparations, to be honest, in here, um, because we really want that one land, that round one landmark for our Ruinous Acolyte to be able to destroy playing Ruinous Acolyte on round two. Uh, we frequently didn't have very much to do round one in these games, and that's that's the thing. Like we're, uh, you know, we really want the Inventive Chemist. That's the best round one play, but we frequently didn't have an Inventive Chemist, so I could see playing an ancient preparations to just get another one of those. Um, to fit it in, I would probably, I don't know, this Risen Altar just seems really slow. <laughs> it seems really, like, like the game's already over by the time we ever get Risen Altar in play. Um, I think I would probably just, just play another Ancient Preparations over that, like, where you can uh, help yourself curve out and everything. Um, I think that's what I would do. I would just kind of, uh, yeah, grab the one drop. So... All right, but that's going to be it for Acolyte Ziggs. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments and let me know what you think of this Ruinous Acolyte deck. If you've been trying to figure out how to play Ruinous Acolyte, give this a try. Leave those comments and let me know how it goes for you. Let me know how you like this list, especially with the second Ancient Preparations. But um, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next video.